All right, new video, new day. So today, we're gonna try and tackle some steering maybe. Not really too sure what I wanna do. Uh, so I left it, the floors are all just kinda cleat going in, so they're not permanent, and uh, which I wanna make sure I get under it, and I got some more welding to do, and make sure everything fits together. Uh, Brent stopped by yesterday, actually dropped off a seat back and a couple of seat bottoms, so I can kinda test fit in here, which I think will work out just perfect. And an old steering column on a who knows what. So I'm gonna try. I pulled the box out. Actually, I took it to work this morning and uh, cleaned it all up and repacked it full of grease. So it's basically brand new. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna try and do now is I gotta mount it. So I'll probably take this uh, header off. I might have to jack the car up or drop this arm down or do something just so I can get lots of room in there. So I wanna figure out the angle of the shaft so I'll have it kind of going up. So what I want to do for my steering link, I uh, stopped by Princess Auto because they're good at taking my money and I bought a couple of bearings and some uh, couple of like swivels, wobble joint, whatever you want to call them, basically you joint for the steering so I can make it do whatever I want because I think the steering box is going to end up pointing kind of upwards and then have to take a curve and then come out in around there. And then I gotta make some sort of brace for the wheel to sit in. So I think what I wanna do is just have a shaft. Uh, yeah, just have a shaft go through. And I might do something for the signal, I'm not really too sure. And then probably just a quick connect wheel, just something quick, easy, and old school. And once I get that in there, I'm happy with it. Then I'm gonna start monkeying around with this uh, brake setup. I did order a new reservoir, or a new master, I should say, from Rock Auto, but uh, probably not gonna be here for a couple days. So I can get that finished off. Then I know what's going on there, but in the meantime, I can work on the other floor and all that. But uh, steering and brakes, that's what we're gonna try and focus on. Well, here I'll show you what I was doing. I'm just kind of winging it. So I wasn't doing a whole lot of filming. So I made another bracket. I just plasma cut it out and I just kind of put a few holes in it. I'll plug it in and then weld it the whole way around. Uh, I have the steering box bolted to the bracket with just a couple of tack welds. So this will all have to come apart and be welded. Uh, I've got the box kind of going pretty high up, but I think that should work. The next thing I was working on, this is basically, so it's two pillow bearings and the, you have to pretend this is gonna be the, the shaft. I just ground down a little bit, but uh, ultimately this is gonna go underneath the dash, kind of upside down. This might be a little hard to do one-handed. Let's see what I can accomplish. Something. Oh god, it's heavy. Kind of like that. So then I can go through both bearings into a wobble, which will then go down into another wobble, which will go up, and I'll set to make a little piece in the center. That's what I'm thinking, anyways. So I'm gonna get this just tack while it did. So I'm gonna weld it to the dash and the firewall, and then I'm gonna run a couple of braces from the kind of top of the cowl to it. Just, I got a bunch of this left over half inch, so I figure two of those will be lots of strength. And then, uh, like I said, I can decide what I wanna do for different shaft lengths and all that, but uh, yeah. Seems like I'm making progress. We'll see if it all comes off the rails right away, or if it's gonna work for me. Well. Let's see if we can get under here to bit tight quarters. Uh, I ended up moving these pillow bearings uh, ahead a little bit. I didn't have enough uh, wobble in the wobble joint. But that's the way she's going to go now. So that one spins no problem. It's, it's not well together, obviously. And this one's got almost nothing. So it should be just fine. Everything's just tacked together. But it worked out pretty good. Uh, I just guessed actually the length of the shaft. It was actually just uh, one from a 55 Chevy I had, but uh, I got the seat back in, and it's actually not bad, just by kind of fluke there. So I think I might just kind of burn this in, but I'm going to go in and have something to eat, and just give it a minute. Uh, think about it, I mean, I should have enough room for a gas pedal. The brake pedal will come up on the other side. The only thing that's going to kind of bone me here is the way that the wobble joint is, it's quite a big hole and that's right where the floor is going to go. So we'll have a, 
a giant size hole there to deal with. But uh, yeah, it actually went together not too bad. And then like I said, the steering box and all that, everything is where it's kind of happy as far as I'm concerned. So I will have to, you know, cut this rod down to whatever length and sleeve it or do something. And then the arm itself, I may have to chop because it's splined and it has a couple of master splines and I want it to be straight up and down when the wheels are straight as much as possible. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to take a minute. I'll be back in a little bit, and I'm thinking this sucker will be uh, walled together tonight, so I'm uh, pretty stoked on it. All right, well, I took a little break, came back refreshed. I'll show you what I did here. So I got my plate uh, welded on, so I'm happy with it. I welded the this little triangle piece, I welded that to the box, and then clamped it. So in theory, you can unbolt the box from the plate, and service it if the motor wasn't in the way so it's a it's a motor out job to do a steering box on this thing but it seems like that's kind of how it is on these old hot rods otherwise I got all the wobble joints and everything in and just a, a tack weld on everything let's see if the camera's got some terrible glare there so and I just kind of I actually just tack welded the steering wheel on but does its thing it goes nice and free got the bearings in i'm happy again that uh brace that goes across i gotta weld that in permanently it's just tacked together i've got the uh the seats in just to kind of see what it's like uh sit in this thing <clears throat> unfortunately i'm wearing giant boots but uh it's not bad so i mean i got these big uh steel toes on but if you can jam your one foot in the corner <clears throat> and then uh, the brake pedal I should have something right there gas pedal over there no big deal I just weld it on this is a the kind of cover for the column I just put a tack belt on it but I'll build something in there and I mean this actually you kind of go around and do its thing bend it straight put a piece of rubber in there I mean it's just decorative but yeah works out pretty good this shaft here I might extend it just a couple of inches but uh, like i said if i put a removable steering wheel on or something like that but this is very drivable for me got a little bit of a bend in my arm i'm happy with it it's not too bad i got lots of height the only thing now is that visor is ridiculously low and uh, this you can kind of hammer that out i guess but uh if everyone thinks i won't be able to see street lights there's no roof problem solved so yeah i'm actually pretty stoked on that so i'm gonna let that uh kind of cool off I was going to do uh, one more little brace. I was going to plate uh, plate this, kind of go up and around or whatever I can do. Just burn it to that, just just to be as much uh, as much strength there as I can. It seems a little funny, but uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. I think that's where we live for right now. Uh, let that all kind of cool off. So everything's all hot and supper time right away. We'll be back out, see if I can test fit those brakes. Again, I'm waiting on that master, but uh, I should be able to kind of test fit it with what I got there. All right, so everything's all well together. I ended up adding a little gusset brace there, which I'm happy with. Uh, so steering wheel does everything. I got it centered in the box. So now my next problem is uh, I put the uh, hairpin back on. So this, I'm going to want this arm kind of straight up and down when it's uh, the box is centered. So it's spline. Unfortunately, it's got four different keyways in it. So it either wants to be there or there, both of which aren't good. Plus, it actually touches the hairpin. So I'm going to cut this off, put it where I want it weld that or tack it on i should say and probably bend it out a little bit do my thing so it'll be out and yeah that'll be kind of where it's going to be now in the front where it joins obviously it's been rubbing against this axle for many years so i'm also going to just heat this up with a torch with the flower jack under it and lift it up so i'll probably do that first 
get that where I want it, straighten the wheels, cut that apart, kind of just slide it back on, and then I got to decide what I'm going to do. I just had this old steering shaft solid bar. I might just tack weld that in for the time being because I'll want to uh, sleeve it or do something. But uh, at least if I get that done, then the steering will actually kind of work. And then just a little bit of bracing under the cowl. And uh, yeah, pretty good day. Okay, so I uh, welded up my piece, put it on, uh, I put this little bar on, I know it's woo, but it's uh, just eyeballed welded on. I'm going to have to get a pipe to sleep it or do something to make it look a little nicer, but it'll give the effect. Uh, I got it up on uh, the jack, just so there's not a whole lot of weight on it, because everything's just tacked together. But it uh, seems to, yeah, it turns the wheels. Gives the desired effect. Wheels are straight. Steering wheel is straight. There's definitely some slop in the box. So I don't know if it's got any more adjustment left in it or if it's going to be taken apart and kind of fixed or whatever, but it's enough that it can be, uh, you know, driven out of the garage anyway. That's, uh, that's a pain trying to push something in the front ends all loosey goosey. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I think it's strong, boxed in, everything should be good. I'm happy with it, that's all that really matters. Uh, I got the front just kind of bent up a little. Seems like it's still good. It's not uh, rubbing on the axle anymore. So, that's where I'm leaving it today. Tonight, it's actually already gotten late on me. Tomorrow, I'm breaking in this little area. Probably have to pull at least that one out, if not another one, just kind of tag something for some strength. But yeah. Really does its thing worked out pretty good all right see you guys tomorrow after work all right next day so i'm working in the garage as per usual so i was messing around with this uh brake setup so i'm putting a couple of nuts and bolts in to hold the old master that we're just kind of using for the pedal assembly uh weld the nuts on because this side's going to be against the frame so it's going to be a pain to get to uh i ended up just welding a piece of all thread rod uh to it to this uh where the, you know the, the adjuster would have been so that's just kind of temporary i just want to see if it's going to work so it's kind of hard to do one-handed but ultimately you can kind of see it's going to do its thing uh the only thing is this pedal is just so giant because i took this piece off there's so much swing to it it's a bit of a bit of a nightmare and because it's so long, it actually has to sit a little further back in the car than I was hoping. So I had to cut out this little brace. But uh, it's going to sit down low enough. I'm actually I'm going to be limited by this uh, rear cross member. So I need to keep it a couple inches away from that so I can still service the master cylinder if I ever need to. But uh, anyways, the master will kind of sit about there. If this piece of the panel is uh, removable, I might have to do this piece, but we'll see. I kind of like the way I have it all set up. I can still feed uh, the brake fluid in, it won't be in the world. 
and then it's going to go all the way up here sneak around the motor mount and i'll have to kind of pry it over and, and work it over here i'm thinking so i'm going to get it uh, just kind of set up on the floor jack and uh start looking at it and see i'm going to attach it to the car so now you guys can see my dilemma so i'm limited by this cross member so i got I don't know, maybe an inch and a half of space which should be enough to take the master out uh, i've got about as far forward as i can it's just going to kind of kiss this motor mount, which is fine because it's attached to the frame, so everything's going to move together. It's kind of irrelevant. Uh, now, my next issue, this is probably not going to go, but the amount of swing this is going to have uh, on full bottom mode of the master, it does touch the transmission. So that's a long way to go. So I'm going to have to kind of horseshoe this thing over this motor mount and probably kind of bend it back but then bend the tip ahead so it's going to make a a goofy shape but if i do that i can actually probably just use this as the uh, the lever itself and not have to use that entire kind of foot pedal unit i'm thinking so i'm just going to weld uh, a little brace across to the frame top and bottom i'll just kind of tackle it on for now give me an idea i'll probably undo this make sure this does come apart because now I'm looking at these bolts are kind of long, but I don't know. We'll just see where I'm going to end up with this, uh, this sucker. But that's what I'm thinking anyways. I'm thinking it'll be okay. A lot of, a lot of kind of screwing around making it fit. It's just so tight in here. And this thing is quite, quite long as it turns out. But it was free and I think it should work out just fine. Uh, so that's what I did. I just kind of gave it a few tack welds. So this is where... The floor is going to be welded, so starting right here is going to be the uh, the kind of temporary part. I believe that's how I did it anyways. I'm hoping. So it shouldn't be too bad. I should be able to get in there with no uh, no real issues. Uh, nothing's touching. I did, I took this apart and it does come out, so I can service that if I have to. Uh, you know, I can unbolt these things and take that all off, but the, uh, the bracket itself will be stuck to the car. So now... Uh, I have enough room around my linkage. I double checked all that so I can go through the gears, no issues. So that's a win. Uh, I could pull this bag just a little bit with some more adjustment, maybe about an inch of throw. The problem is the rod, I would have to do a bunch of screw around with the lever itself because it has to kind of go down and then back. So I'm going to leave that alone. I get most of the throw uh, to it. And like I said, I'm going to end up bending this back and then over a bunch. So that is what my plan will be. And my theory is I'll actually kind of crank this so far back, it's gonna be sticking this way. I'll bend it over and then I'll bend it uh, forward. And then all I'm gonna do is just put the little uh, pedal on it. Just literally that's it. And I should have lots of room, huh. I'm hoping. So I'm gonna get the torch set out, see where I get. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'm doing this right. Well, epic fail. I uh, ran out of oxygen. So, I guess I'm not doing this until tomorrow. Which is a real bummer, because that's how I was hoping I was going to finish out this video. Is kind of swank that over and bend her back. Which I think is a good idea. But, uh, I guess that's a job for tomorrow. It's actually a little bit late as it is. I uh, was working on the 47 a little bit, and I just pulled Nova out. So that'll be coming up in a couple of videos, but... Uh, yeah bummer see you guys tomorrow all right new torch tanks it's all set up got a box of goodies i'll show you guys after but let's get to uh wrecking this brake pedal
Okay, here's what I've come up with. So, everything's just kind of tackled all together. Story of my life. Uh, I ended up shortening the uh, pedal because it was quite long. And uh, while it's in there, I might end up kind of flipping it around so it's longer on that side. But uh, it's got full travel and stops, so it uh, shouldn't be an issue. I can bottom the thing out, it won't touch the floor. Uh, if I sit in here, oh, it's awkward. So the pedal is a little bit too much to the left, but I can always torch it over or I said uh, chop that, put it on the other side, just so I can have room for my foot. It won't be terrible, I guess. And uh, so brake pedal, gas pedal, it'll be good enough. I'm happy with it. Got a box full of parts today. So uh, shocks, I got a set of just kind of standard front shocks so I'll build a couple of brackets now we find the rear shocks actually I'm gonna see if I can uh, mount them right in the coil springs uh, right in the center of them it's essentially kind of making a, a homemade coil over so I gotta do a little screw around I might have a little spacer for that to work but uh, yeah, we'll try that out and I uh, purchased off eBay thanks to Jonathan W for pointing it out. 32 Ford grill shell reproduction. So, I don't know. I kind of dig the way it looks. It's obviously too long and it's a little bit too forward because it's just kind of sitting on there, but uh, I don't know. 32 grill shell on a Model T. It's kind of different, looks kind of cool. I've seen a few on the internet. Let me know what you guys think, love it or hate it. I think that's where we leave it for this one though. I'm gonna end up putting the floors back in, uh, just click them back in. Everything's just tackled together. I want to make sure it's all, I'm happy with it and all that before I burn it all together. Cause it'd be a lot of work to cut all this back out. So put it in, think about it for a day or two. In the meantime, like I said, work on shocks or do something else, clean the garage up. I don't even know what. I got a bunch of stuff coming out, uh, out of storage, work on that a little bit, but uh, yeah. So that's it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment below if you wouldn't mind. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out huge. Tell a buddy. See you guys in the next one.